Hey everyone, this is Khan from the Axelar team. What we wanted to do in this video was to walk through a few helpful resources for you as developers as you begin to build on Axelar. Um, the first high-level overview of our docs, uh, the site to which is docs.axelar.dev, um, and then we'll run. Um, we'll, we'll look to run into some live examples that that you could follow along with as well. So starting with our developer docs, if you go to the developer section. This shows the full range of features that you could implement on Axelar, everything from sending tokens from a chain A to chain B to uh, what you would use to send generic messages across chains. Um, we also expose a JavaScript uh, software development kit um, that you could use in your, in your DApp development um, that has some tooling techniques there as well. So if we go to our Get Started section, we can dive right into it. Um, first of all, we have the starter templates repo called Axelar Local GMP Examples that has a dozen or so self-contained examples with various use cases on our network. Um, so this is the repo that we're going to uh, start up in this demo um, and run through. So I'm going to go ahead and clone this into my machine. All right, so here's the, let me just open up another window. Here's the code for it. So I'm, I'm truly starting from scratch here, right? So I'm gonna open a terminal window. Uh, here I will, if you go to the readme, the readme has um, instructions on how you would first get your, uh, get your local de developer environment set up. Um, there are then instructions for each of the examples that we have in deploying them and running them. Um, onto your local machine. So uh, just to mention right off the bat, um, this repo requires Node, specifically the latest stable version, version 16. And here you see instructions on how to um, change to that to the extent that you're on a, a different environment, right? So the very first step for us is to make sure that we have Node, which I know I already do. Um, I've cloned the repo. Um, I'm going to update and install uh, this, this repository. So while that's installing, I'll kind of walk through each one of these examples here. Um, there are a few of them. The first two are um, the messages that we would invoke from chain A to chain B, right? So um, within our network, you're either calling a method called call, call contract on our gateway contracts across EVM chains, or and, and that's used to send a generic message from, uh, again, from chain A to chain B. Um, the other method is call contract with token, which is the same thing as call contract, but you're also sending along one of Axelar supported tokens with that. And we can walk through that example um, as we go. Um, the other examples here are just iterations of these couple of building blocks. Um, so for the purpose of this demo, we'll, we'll walk through the first two. And each one of these examples is self-contained, right? So if we click into any one of them, we see that there is a base solidity file. Um, with some sample code, and there's a JavaScript file that has a test function um, that is run when you're running these examples locally. Um, as we're running all of these scripts, all of the scripts are declared in package JSON, and um, and the ultimate scripts that we're looking to run are in the scripts directly. So when you're running um, node deploy JS, uh, this is the file that you're running. And then obviously when you're running test, this is the file that you're running as well. So take a look through that um, if you want to know how these scripts run under the hood. So this is still installing. Um, we'll give it another minute or so. Actually, a better way of referencing this readme is, um, is actually on the site because this comes uh, in tabular format, so I'll just swivel over to GitHub here that has a kind of a clean version of that same README that we we're just looking at. All right, well, it's still going. We'll give it, ah, there we go. So it's uh, it's been installed. Um, the next step is to um, run npm run build. What this effectively does is it goes through each one of these examples here um, and creates a build file for them. So let's do that. And you see it's using hardhat to compile each one of these into um, JSON files that um, would go into each one of these examples folder. So we'll give that a second. And right, there we go. 
And the next step is uh, to run our local environment. So I'm just going to run this script, script real quick, and then I'll explain um, what we just did. Um, this script has to be run um, sort of in parallel um, in, in a separate terminal window. So if I go back to my um, IDE, um, I'm going to create a new terminal here. And I'll just ignore all of this, yeah. <laughs> Um, from this root directory, I'm running this create local script. So a few things just happened here, right? Um, we, with this local environment, we are effectively running on our local machine um, five different EVM networks that we support. Um, and we're running them on port 8500 at various endpoints, right? The information for that, if we go to this info, tab here and then go to local.json. This effectively would be um, all of the chains that we have, um, the RPC endpoints that they're run on, and the chain IDs that, um, that, that, they, that they have. So here um, you, you see that for, this, for, for each chain um, in this local environment, we deploy a constant address deployer contract. We deploy our Axler gateway. For that chain, we deploy our gas receiver. We deploy a mock um, ERC20 contract um, for that chain as well. And we do that for every single chain. Run on port 8500. Now, something else that I'd like to show you here in this video is how you could actually point something like your MetaMask to, to any one of these RPC endpoints, right? So let's go ahead for, I'm just going to pick Avalanche. Um, let's go ahead and set that up in our um, in our MetaMask. Th this will be important later um, as we uh, look to uh, verify things. If we want to use MetaMask as a different verification of uh, mess messages that we pass across chains. So here in my MetaMask, I'm going to go to my list of networks and then go to Add Network. And I'm going to populate the info for the local Avalanche instance that we had just instantiated, right? So let me just collapse the windows here. Um, this would be local Avalanche. The RPC URL would be, I'm just going to copy and paste this guy. The chain ID, I think we saw was 2501. And the currency symbol is AVAX. Right, so we're going to go ahead and save that. Um, we'll go ahead and do the same thing for one or two other chains, um, but I'll do that in my own time. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's basically it. That's, that's how you uh, set up your local dev environment. Um, in the next couple of videos, we'll actually run through a couple of these live examples um, and iterate upon them before deploying to testnet.